Hey Z fans, I'm ZSH Place. Welcome to this special anniversary episode of Tekton Zoo. Hope you're having a good day today. It's Planet Zoo's birthday, as I'm sure you're aware. And today we're going to be adding the new black and white rough lemurs into Tekton Zoo. So what you're looking at here is the oldest enclosure in Tekton Zoo. This is the old gorilla house, nestled away behind the forest. It was built in 1932. It's been empty for many years due to it being way too small to keep gorillas in. And today we're going to modernize and retrofit it for black and white rough lemurs. All right, so that's the lore out of the way. <laughs> this building you might recognize is an actual Tecton building. This is the Gorilla House from London Zoo. It was built in 1932 and the two gorillas that live there were actually two of the first primates to ever live in a modernist house in Britain. And I'm including humans uh, when I say that. Um, so they were uh, pretty special um, but as you can tell us so often when we do these old builds it's not a suitable environment for uh, gorillas to live in it's way way too small it was a very unique design it's it's beautiful and actually had a sliding door all the way around them so that in winter it could be shut and then the uh, the entire enclosure would be indoors and in summer it could be open so that the front half of the enclosure that I'm just meshing over here would be outdoors which effectively doubled the size of the enclosure uh, for bad weather um, which is a pretty cool idea but uh, unfortunately as you can see it's uh, it's still too small for gorillas it was a massive step up in um, gorilla keeping when it came out which just goes to show how horrific the <laughs> enclosures were before this. But um, it's, a, it's a building I'm a big fan of. It's still in London Zoo now, uh, although there's no animals in it. I actually spoke about this building way back in episode one when we were discussing the plans for this zoo. So it's something I've wanted to get in here for a long time. And this seemed like the perfect opportunity to do it. It's incredibly good timing on Frontier's part. <laughs> we spoke last week about the, uh, the primates area that we're going to be adding into the zoo and I've been working on a gorilla habitat to go next to the Capuchin Tower. It's going to be a big modern habitat, something that looks like it would be in a, in a zoo today. Um, one of the ideas that I had, seeing as I've always wanted to get this building into the zoo, was to use this as just their indoor quarters and then have a giant outdoor space for them. So I was working on that on Wednesday and um, I just wasn't happy with it. Mainly, it was even just to be their indoor area, it was still too small. That was the, the main issue. Um, so I decided in the end to not use it and put it on the back burner for any future small primates that might be released. And literally the next day, uh, they released a new small primate. So I knew exactly what I was going to do uh, as soon as I saw that, because this is a much more suitable size for um, the black and white rough lemurs. Uh, and it's already got an indoor and an outdoor part, which is great because obviously we're in England here, so it's going to be too cold for them to be outside in winter. So what I'm doing is updating and modernizing this habitat to make it suitable for them. I built this building way back in, I don't know, maybe February, I think, for London Zoo 1985, uh, before we had mesh in the game. So I used the in-game barriers for the mesh around the front and then the roof was actually just open. So I've added mesh into that now. Um, this habitat in London Zoo, these walls you're looking at here were an indoor area for the guests. So you could actually go inside so that in winter or when the gorillas were inside, you could walk into the enclosure and see them. Um, the gorillas did not last long in here. Um, I think they both died pretty uh, quickly. Uh, and then for the following years, they used it for orangs and chimps um, when I was a kid it had koalas in it I remember going to see them uh, I really enjoyed seeing them in there um, obviously they're very cute animals and I've never seen one before um, uh, I think the last thing it held was bats so uh, gorillas to bats there you go that's um, the change in uh, animal care techniques since the 1930s uh, it's empty in the zoo now so what i'm doing is taking the guest portion of the habitat and removing one of the walls 
and then using just one wall to separate the inside and outside parts of the enclosure which has the effect of giving the lemurs more room um, and then we're putting a viewing window into the back so that in winter the guests can still see the lemurs uh, and the lemurs get a lot more privacy thanks for all your comments on the last episode by the way i was actually making a video in response to some of them when the anniversary update was announced it's been a pretty crazy week on the channel um, unfortunately due to various international time zone issues <laughs> um, we've not been able to record the final episode of pomoja wildlife park yet and i didn't want to go a weekend without an episode um, so i actually started filming a tour to celebrate uh, the fact that this is episode 25 uh, and in response to a few of the comments from last episode in regards to being able to see the buildings in the zoo in context and then this update was announced and i had to have the black and white rough lemurs in the zoo so um that might still uh be released uh, i'd finished filming it but not done the voiceover i am away all weekend uh, so i couldn't get any recording done this weekend so I've been frantically building this. <laughs> what you're seeing here is actually one of Beezy's climbing structures from his primate climbing pack, which I highly recommend. It's on the workshop. I think there's like 20 completely different, completely original climbing structures. Um, and he's just so good at them that I wanted to put one of those in here. Uh, I really like this one, which is suitable for smaller primates. So. I am modifying this so it fits nicely into the space that we have here. It gives them all sorts of climbing opportunities. And as always, I'll be filling any um, climbing spaces with enrichment items to encourage the lemurs to actually use them. Moving into the indoor part of the enclosure, I don't think I've ever used these in Tecton before, but I'm a big fan of the murals that they added back in the aquatic pack. They're really uh, zooey, if that makes sense. It really does look like something uh, that you would see in a zoo. And they had something like that in the original London Zoo version back when I was a kid, uh, when it had koalas in it. So I thought I'd add those in there for a bit of interest. And then we're gonna put some standoff barriers around the front to prevent the guests from sticking their fingers through the mesh and getting them uh, nipped off by a lemur. I use these, or well, this style, um, for any standoff barriers in the zoo. So we have a visual continuity. I think I originally built them for the Cheetah Conservation Center where they were black. And then I recolored them white for the gems box. And now we're gonna use them again here to keep the guests safe and just put these all the way around. Uh, we'll put some signage on the little building to the right, which is where the keepers actually enter the habitat. And then on the left, there's a projection coming out of the building which is where the guests would originally have entered uh, so i'm going to edit that slightly but keep it because i like the look of it now when i originally built this uh, it was a long time ago and i was still very much a beginner in the world of planet zoo so i'm going to make some changes to the interior just to bring it up to uh, up to scratch and then put the enrichment items in for the lemurs so as always we'll be hiding one of these forage feeders forage feeders we'll say forage feeders for now uh, hiding those in with terrain rocks plants etc so it looks nice we'll add one of the enrichment feeder items right in front of the one-way glass so that the guests have something to look at when they're going through there gonna hide one of the mirror mobiles well not hide but put one of the mirror mobiles up there and then a cardboard box up in the uh, one of the climbing areas to try and get them up there. Add in the signage for the zoo. Oh God, it's so good to have a new primate. And now it's time to add the black and white rough lemurs into the habitat. And who doesn't love a montage? So <laughs> here you go. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but I love seeing a, uh, a new animal arrive into the zoo. It's amazing to just get a surprise new animal into the game. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you are new to the channel, please uh, subscribe so you can see the future episodes. And here's to the next 25. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.